Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we are gonna see the latest updates from Starbase, SpaceX's latest launch, and an update on United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. Finally, SpaceX is about to kickstart its most important round of testing in preparation for the first orbital flight. Yesterday, Booster 7 was lifted onto the orbital launch mount using the chopstick arms. In this shot, you can see the new shields added to the booster, also known as the Robustness Upgrade. Prior to the booster lift, a new Raptor was installed on Booster 7 using the Raptor Maintenance Platform. Starship S-24 is now kept between the chopsticks arms, ready for stacking on top of Booster 7. This is the first fully stacked Starship that will undergo a wet dress rehearsal. Following the wet dress rehearsal, a full 33-engine static fire test will be conducted. Possible road closures are scheduled until Wednesday, so a lot can happen during this period. Not to miss any Starship updates, consider subscribing to the channel for the latest SpaceX update. Before the test flight, they might want to test how the heat shield tiles react to engine startup, how the OLM handles 33 engines firing up all at once. After they gather all the data, probably next month is my best guess for a test flight. Only if all the testings go smoothly in the right way. Last week, on Sa, SpaceX launched its 46th mission of the year. A Falcon 9 carrying Intelsat G33G34 satellites blasted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The first stage booster supporting this mission was on its record 14th flight and was successfully recovered for the 14th time. The two satellites were successfully placed into a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Reports suggest United Launch Alliance's debut flight of its new rocket, Vulcan Centaur rocket could be pushed back to next year. According to the report, this launch has been pushed back due to one of its customers' requests to give additional time to finish the development of the payload. But, the rocket itself is not ready yet. Out of the two BE-4 engines of the main booster, ULA has received just one engine from Blue Origin. The other engine is expected to arrive in November. So, I always did not expect Vulcan to fly until Q1 or Q2 of next year in 2023. 